Today, we are going to demonstrate basic remote support platform reporting usage. As a partner, we want to use the remote support platform 3.0 for SAP Business One more efficiently by generating reports based on the data gathered from the system status report task results. We are now logged in to the RSP Studio 3.0 installed in our partner environment. The first thing that we are going to do is navigate to the configuration in the top menu and select WebDAV from the drop down list. The WebDAV configuration window appears and we are now going to define the WebDAV server connection settings. Once we have entered our WebDAV server URL, we can then input our username and password. Now we can test our connection to the WebDAV server and once we've successfully connected to the partner WebDAV server, we can now save these settings. In our configuration window, we're going to select the reporting option. In version 3.0, if you are an SAP partner, you can generate reports that provide information about all of your customers, such as a systems overview, usage of a customer system, assigned tasks and executed task results. To do this, we're going to launch the RSP reporting system. We can now see that the RSP reporting system is running. We're now going to select the link Open Reporting Homepage in Browser. And this will now connect us to the RSP reporting system. You can view various details on the different tabs, such as a list of the most common issues, a detailed system status report, and you can also view various charts of customer demographics. By navigating to the results list, you can also list all of the uploaded task results. The fixing list tab also provides you with a list of all the necessary corrections. We're now logged in to the customer environment and we're going to log on to the remote support platform. We're going to enter our username and password and log in to the remote support platform within our customer environment. In the remote support platform, we're now going to navigate to configuration and we're going to select channels. And then we're going to select partner channel. We want to enable the partner channel settings in order to connect to the partner server to retrieve tasks and send results. So we need to specify the partner WebDAV server login details to connect to the WebDAV server. We first need to enter our server URL details and then our username and password. And now we can test the connection to the partner WebDAV server. And once we've successfully connected, we can recommend to adjust the approval settings to approve tasks automatically. And now we can save these configuration settings. We now want to navigate to the tasks option and view active tasks. We're now on to browse for the system status report task. We can type in system and now we're going to select the system status report task to run the system status report. By selecting run, the task execution wizard will start and now it will execute the task. And once it's completed, we can then view the result. As you can see here, we've got the results for this particular customer system. We're now going to navigate to the task results following task execution. Under awaiting upload, we want to upload these tasks by selecting upload all to the SAP channel and the partner channel. 
As you can see here, two task results have been uploaded to the SAP channel and two task results have been uploaded to the partner channel. We're now logged back in to the RSP Studio within our partner environment. We now want to review the results in RSP reporting system. So if we go to configuration and we select reporting, we can now open the reporting homepage in the browser or we can go down to our reporting icon and launch the reporting RSP system from here as well. Here you can see that we have just received the system status report results of the customer and the date that the report was run. If we scroll down, we can see a list of the 10 most recent reports also delivered. Let's now select our custom system status report to view the results. And as you can see, the overall system status is also reflected under customer status details. If we navigate to the install base tab, we can now view a graphical representation of our install base. If we now navigate to the results list and select the customer that is connected to the partner's web dev system and select search, we are then also presented with a list of task results for this customer. You also have the option to navigate to the fixing list and select the appropriate customer system, which will then list any issues that need to be rectified. Well, that concludes our demonstration of the RSP reporting feature in the remote support platform Studio 3.0 for one of our customer systems. In the remote support platform 3.0 for SAP Business One, you can now more efficiently generate reports based on the data gathered from system status report task results.